In the previous video, we implemented the insert method to add nodes to the tree. In this video, let's make sure that method works as expected by implementing the search method which verifies if a given value exists in the tree. I'm going to begin by adding a new method in the binary search tree class. Search and the method will accept the root node of the tree and the value to search as arguments. The implementation of this method can be split into two scenarios based on whether the tree is empty or not. If the tree is empty, we return false indicating the value does not exist in the tree. However, if the tree is not empty, we have to traverse through the tree from the root node till the leaf nodes while checking if the value is present. And here is how we are going to do that. Consider a tree with five nodes. For example one, let's say the value to search is 10. We check if the value is equal to the root node value. It is and we return true. For example 2, let's say the value to search is 3. We check if 3 is the root node value. It is not. We check if 3 is less than the root node value. It is and we now focus on the left subtree. We check if the left child contains 3. It does not. We check if 3 is less than 5. It is and we focus yet again on the left subtree. We check if the left child contains 3. It does and we return true. So based on the value being lesser or greater than the root node's value, we focus on the left or right subtree recursively. If this is clear, let's head back to Replit and implement the code. We begin by checking if the value is equal to the root node value. If root dot value is equal to the passed in value, we return true. Else, if the value is less than the root node value, because of binary search tree properties, the value must lie in the left subtree. So we recursively call the same search method, but this time the left child is treated as the root node. So we are traversing the left subtree. Do make sure to return the method call. If the value is greater than the root node value, so else block, we search the right subtree. Return this dot search root dot write comma value. And this is pretty much the search method. Like I mentioned, recursion simplifies the method implementation to a great extent. You have to focus on the slides to understand what the code does. Please don't hesitate to rewatch the slides explanation if something is a little hard to understand. With our search method now in place, let's test if both insert and search work as expected. In the previous video, we have inserted three nodes. Let's test if they exist. Console.log binary search tree dot search. The first argument is the root node. And the second argument is the value. Let's pass in 10, 5, and 15. Run the code. And we see true in all the cases. If I search for 20, we see false. Our code works as expected. Join me in the next video where we are going to learn how to traverse a given binary search tree. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel 
and I'll see you in the next one.